Hey everybody, Sam from Cyber Vista here. I'm an instructor, curriculum designer, and tutor at Cyber Vista, and I want to let you know if you don't know already, June 1st, 2022 is a very important date. Not only is it my sister's birthday, but this CSSP exam is updating. And by updating, I mean they're adding questions to the CSSP CAT. So if you're taking the English language version of the CSSP, you're going to get 25 more questions. So let me break down what that means and then some practical implications of what that means for you on test day. So uh, currently, as you may know, there are 100, that's the minimum, to 150 questions on test day. The change that is happening on June 1st is they're adding 25 new questions. So there's going to be now anywhere from 125 to 175 questions. These 25 new questions are special questions. They're not just any old questions. They're experimental. Experimental questions are added in by IC Square just to like test the validity of the questions, right? Before they actually release them live on the be actual uh, scored item, they have to get it kind of tested. So you are the guinea pigs. They're adding 25 experimental questions. Now, an important note about those experimental questions, they all happen in the first 125, right? So now they're a total of 50. In the first 125, everybody, no matter who you are, whether you do well in the test, you do poor in the test, you are going to see 50 experimental questions in the first 125. If you do the math, that's kind of like a lot of experimental questions. That's kind of a little bit crazy, right? There's 40% of the questions you'll see will be experimental. So if on test day it feels weird, if you see content you've never seen before, maybe a tricky question stem, it could be experimental. You don't know which ones are experimental and which ones aren't. So you have to approach every question like it's the real deal. So that's the bad news, right? The test is longer and there's 25 experimental items. Is there good news? Yes, there is. Currently on the test, you have three hours to complete it. They're adding items, so they're adding time. They're giving you a full extra hour. The new test will be four hours. Why is this a big advantage? Well, the good news is, if you do the math, if you think about how many minutes you have per question, so just do the three hours divided by the minimum number of questions, you have about 1.2 minutes per question. Does this mean every single question is going to take you 1.2 minutes? No. And in fact, in Cyrovista's test day strategy, we talk a lot about you know, allocating more time beginning of a cat and at the end, because that's when it really matters. But basically, if you treat every question equally, you have 1.2 minutes. If you do the math over here, guess what? You have 1.37, so almost 1.4 minutes per question. So that means you have more time per question on the test. If IC squared were smart and they did the math properly, they only would have added about 30 minutes. Instead, they added 60 minutes. So the downside is that more questions, more experimental items. The good news is you have more time per question. So if you're getting ready for the test, remember, content is not changing at all. If you know your stuff, you're going to be fine. Keep studying, keep up the good work, but know the experience on test day is going to be a little bit different.